everyone, and welcome to Jack and Kid Adventures. Today we're going to make some homemade brownies. I have not made this recipe before, so it's a first for all of us. Let's start by getting our ingredients together. So in a bowl, you're going to have one and a half cups of sugar, three quarter cups of flour, a half cup of powdered sugar, two thirds cup unsweetened cocoa powder, a half teaspoon of salt, and a half cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Now I didn't have the chocolate chips. I did have some baking chocolate that you melt and stuff, so I just chopped that up. It was milk chocolate, I put it in. And then you just um, whisk it all together, really good. So in a mixing bowl, you're gonna put in two large eggs, half a cup of vegetable oil, two tablespoons of water, and one teaspoon of vanilla. What you're going to do is you're going to mix this just for a second. Get it mixing. Now I have a new pan I'm using here. It's a brownie pan. But if you don't have a brownie pan, um, take an 8 by 8 square baking pan. Put a parchment paper in the bottom of it and over the side so you can lift it out. And once you get that in, spray it with pan spray. So now, that this is mixed, we're going to gradually add our dry mixture, and I mean gradually because it will go everywhere. Actually, I'm going to get a measuring scoop to do it with, which just makes it easier. This smells so good. Now if you do have a um, brownie pan like I do, make sure you spray it really well so that they come out. And you really don't want to over mix this, just get this incorporated. This looks delicious. Oh my goodness. It looks very rich. This little bit can't go to waste. Mmm. It tastes great. Right, finish mixing this. Just mix it till it comes together, that's all. That's good. pan now I am using a um, ice cream scoop to do it I'm just trying to get them even so they bake even 
some of these are a little bit low. So all you need to do is make sure that they're pretty even. Fix those up a little bit. That one looks a little bit low still. Okay. This is really nice batter. Very easy to work with. Let me wash my hands. Okay, and these are going to go into the oven for about 40 minutes or until toothpick comes out clean. So here's our finished product. These took about 30 minutes. Um, just stick a toothpick in. You want a little bit of crumb on it, not wet. If once you see that crumb, take them out, let them cool, put them onto a um, cooling rack, um, and that's it. So if you like this recipe, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And remember, you do you.